So today we're talking about interfaces and we're gonna give you practice working with interfaces in Kotlin um, and some ideas about how interfaces occur in computer science, but interfaces are, are sort of a general idea that occur uh, throughout the world around us. And so I wanted to sort of provide one example of a, a real world interface that you're probably familiar with, with using. Um, and that's this idea of a counter. Uh, at a restaurant. So, you know, and, and I like a counter too because there really is, so an interface is sort of this place where things come together and where there's some sort of standard about how communication happens or, or interaction happens across that interface. So imagine you, you, you come to a restaurant um, or to a bakery or something like this and you walk up to the counter and there's, there's like this sort of standard idea about what happens at the counter, right? There, there might be food items out for you to view. There's a place to order. Somebody's there, you know, facing you that writes down what you want. And then, you know, unbeknownst to you, there's this whole area in the back called the kitchen that you probably never see, right? Where there's industrial equipment and well-trained people that are working hard to, to make, you know, wonderful food, but you don't see that, right? So as the user of the interface, you just see the, you know, the, the, the part where, you know, that is sort of there for, for, for your, uh, where the interaction takes place, right? So, so this is sort of like the interface itself. And then you argue the kitchen is where the implementation happens. And so, for example, uh, you might go to a restaurant for a long time and not realize that during, in between two of your trips, they completely renovated the kitchen because the kitchen's all in the back, right? And so it turns out, um, one of the cool things about interfaces is that the implementer of an interface, the provider of an interface, in this case the restaurant, can totally change how they implement the interface as long as the interface remains the same to the user. So you show up, you get a menu, you order. How the food is prepared in the back is sort of irrelevant, right? It's like it shows up, it's warm, it's edible, whatever, it's tasty, that's all you care about. The whole way that the food is prepared and sort of the kitchen itself might have been totally remodeled and totally redesigned, but as a user of the interface, you're not interested in that, right? You're just like, just give me a menu and, and, and let me order. So, so anyway, one potentially uh, useful metaphor that might help you understand a little bit um, how interfaces work and also sort of this distinction between the user of the interface, right? In this case, the customer at the restaurant and the provider of the interface, the restaurant itself, right? And then also this linkage to the fact that how an interface is implemented Right? The underlying details of how it works can change without the user of the interface knowing as long as the interface itself is stable. So as long as I come into the restaurant and sit down and order in the same way, how the food is prepared in the back can be totally different and I won't notice.